Hey, this is John Dreyer for Fender University, and I'd like to show you just one way to change the strings on your bass. Now, a few things you'll need before we get started. Your string clippers, or wire clippers, and a new set of strings. And there are a few reasons why you might want to change your strings. One of the obvious reasons would be that if you just see that your strings are dirty or they sound dull, or maybe you broke a string and you feel that it's a good time to change the entire set. So first, I'm going to loosen the tension on the strings at the headstock. So just go through and give these a few turns. Okay. So now you can see once they're loose, there's a lot of play, a lot of give to the strings. Now I can easily just clip them here and not have to worry about them springing back at me. Okay, I'm going to grab all four strings and I want to take them off of the machine heads. Just going to wrap them up here for easy disposal. Twist them up, watch your eyes. You don't really need safety goggles for this, but just be careful. Now I want to dispose of them like that. So now I want to remove the rest of the strings here. Now this particular base gives you the option of stringing through the bridge or through the body. And as you can see, these are strung through the body. So I'll remove these one at a time, get rid of them. And just to keep it consistent, I think when we restring the base, we'll keep it through the body. Okay. So now that all the strings are off the base, this might be a good time for you to clean and condition your fretboard if it needs it. This one looks pretty good, so we'll just move on. I'm going to grab my new strings here. These are Fender strings, medium light gauge. Okay, open these up. And Fender makes it very easy to know which string goes where by including this handy dandy string guide. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this package up. But I'm going to try to keep the information side legible and use it as a reference. So I'll keep that here. By my guide here, it says that the E string is the gold ball end, which is this one right here. So we'll start with this one. And I'm going to tip this base on its side so you can see how I'm threading the string through the body. I'm going to insert this through. Pull it in. Go to the next string, which is the candy apple. This one here. Repeat the process through the body. Pull the string through. Okay. Now that I have all four strings through the body, I'm just going to tip the base back over. And then we're ready to attach the string to the machine heads. Okay, I'm just going to move these strings to the other side, just so they're not in my way. And start with the lowest string here. Grab my clippers. Now, when it gets to the machine head here, I don't really want a lot of windings on the peg to allow it to slip over time or go out of tune on me. So a good rule of thumb, I'm going to measure up about one and a half to two machine heads. So counting one, two. So I'm going to kind of go one and a half here. This gives it a good distance. Clip that. Now, these particular machine heads feed the string in through the top. So you just press down until it stops. And then you can, then you start winding it around your machine head here. And again, coming in from the right or center of the headstock around to the left. And you want to feed the string as you go holding it down for tension, you want to feed it to the bottom of the peg. You want the last winding to be on the bottom, not the top. This gives it the proper angle over the nut. Now I'm not going to wind this to pitch, I'm just going to get them on there and then I'll worry about tuning it up later. Let's go for the next string. Again, I'm going to measure up about one and a half to two. So one, two, clip it, insert into the peg and then wrap it around and start winding. This base has a string tree on the headstock so make sure on your G and D strings that you're winding this underneath the guide. Okay so now we're on our last string. Everything looks good. The strings are underneath the string tree on the headstock and now that we have all four strings on the base we're ready to tune to pitch and start playing.